Hey everyone, it's Mohabat here from Team Roche and I am here today to talk about how you can use AI in your business to analyze your market, analyze your target market and analyze the behavior of your clients or potential clients. So you guys as entrepreneurs, business owners and coaches know about the importance of uh, knowing your target audience, knowing your ideal client, because it allows you to really tailor your message in a way that they understand it and they see the value in the products and, re and um, services that you offer them. And sometimes you have an existing client base and you really want to analyze their behavior, see what these guys have in common, or even you want to tap into a like, certain market and you want to know, hey, like, what do these people have in common? What are their pains? What are their needs? What are their desires? And um, uh, today we're going to use AI in a factual way for that. So if you guys are frequent users of chat GPT and have tried it for target market analysis or market research, you guys know that the answers chat GPT always gives you are not 100% factual. So chat GPT 3.5 has the tendency to hallucinate information because it really wants to satisfy you or it really comes out and say, hey, I have a data cut off in 2022 and I really don't have access to internet so I can't really answer that question. Otherwise, it is basically speculating based on large amounts of text on uh, what you're asking it. So it's not based on facts. So if you're typing in in chat GPT 3.5, it's not connected to internet, uh, the free version. Uh, hey, how many people have, uh, like, for example, um, diabetes in California? It really doesn't have an answer to give you. Or if you ask something like, hey, how many uh, complaints uh, on average people have in their pocket when they want to avoid working out? It speculates something. It's not based on reports. It's not based on data. And when you want to actually use that to build your client base, you want to use that for analysis, you would run into problems. And today we're going to talk about a two that is like chat GPT on a steroid, that's free. And it's chat GPT with fact of session. Chat GPT with a resource, with a reference of session. So um, without further ado, I am going to ask some questions from chat GPT. I'm going to ask the same questions from uh, this new tool that I'm going to teach you guys about. And let's see how we can take it from here. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys and um, take it from there. So there you go, sharing my screen. So starting with Chad GPT and let's say with the narrative that I'm a business coach, no, say I'm a health coach and I want to help people lose weight and uh, I have niched down and uh, I want to help people with diabetes uh, lose weight. I want to know how many people are there in, say, California that uh, have diabetes that I can help them. So I'm going to ask Chad GPT, how many people in California have diabetes? Let's see what Chad GPT answers. So it says, I'm sorry, I have a data cutoff at January 2022. And to update the most recent data, go to this place and that place. But ain't nobody got time for that. And um, the reason you want these data to be really accurate is that you want to know, you want to be able to calculate the number of people that you can help. Say uh, you want to help people with diabetes lose weight. First of all, you want to know how many people have diabetes in your area. Uh, or like uh, worldwide, then you are basically uh, giving service to the people in a certain area or those who are speaking a certain language. So you want to niche down and say, hey, like how many people who are English speakers and are in California have diabetes and how many of them are want to lose weight? And then you want to say, hey, I want to like uh, get 
like 1%, 2%, 3% of this market within my first three years of operation or first 10 years of the operation. So knowing the, act, uh, the actual numbers, the facts really helps you in finding uh, where you stand within your business. So I'm just going to copy the same question and ask it from this tool. So this tool is called perplexity.ai. It's like chat GPT with a fact obsession. And I'm just going to paste this question here. And I have, oh, they need you. So uh, right from the get-go, you can see that it gives you data. It gives you sources. And you can just click on any of these sources to check it out. As opposed to chat GPT, you can really trust Perplexity AI because it really goes, has access to internet, goes and really reads the articles and brings in the data that you are looking for. And just like chat GPT, you can ask it follow-up questions. And if there is an answer for that online, chat um, Perplexity.ai will find that answer for you. So say uh, for this particular thing, Let's say, do you know how many of these people work out? Because I'm a fitness coach, say. There is a data. So according to a study, approximately 39% of adults with diabetes in the U.S. were physically active. So that's something that I cannot ask Chad GPT because from the get-go, it really didn't give me that answer. So if you are actually looking for facts, figures, data, reliable sources, reliable re references, perplexity.ai is your to-go AI tool that would enable you to see the trends, the super trends, anything that goes on in your industry. Again, I'm going to stick with the uh, I'm a fitness coach narrative. I'm not, but I'm going to for the sake of this uh, video. And I'm say I'm a fitness coach. What are some popular current workout trends? So I'm going to see a list right here. All of which, all of which have sources. I can just click on them, go read more about them, see if they are in fact factual, if I'm gonna trust this source, if or I'm not gonna trust this source. Now, in all fairness, you can have you can ask the same questions from Chad GPT. Let's give that a try. So the answers are pretty much the same, not 100%. But you can really trust perplexity.ai because uh, it actually shows you the source. So chat GPT is kind of speculating. It's like having a very smart team member on your team, but um, that really uh, is good with uh, like speculating what people want to need as opposed to perplexity.ai, which is like someone who is a pro at researching, someone who is really good at researching. And you can see the answers are not 100% the same. So the first one is biohacking. Let's see if we do have that here in the list. We do not. And um, online workshops and hybrid membership, fitness variables, low impact workouts, outdoor fitness. Let's check here. So now hit functional fitness, body weight training, yoga and flutter. So it's not the same thing. Between the these two AI tools, the one that you can really, really count on for your uh, market research is perplexity.ai because it gives you sources. But I'm gonna show you another cool thing. Say that I am a fitness coach and I really want to only focus on sources that are academic. So I'm just going to click here and I'm saying, no, not all. I just want you to just focus on academic sources and tell me what are the best uh, workouts for people with diabetes. Or 
if I want to have a YouTube video I'm just, or I want to know about the trends, I'm going to go and say, hey, just look at YouTube, just go look at the trends in YouTube and say, what are the most, um, most like uh, workout routine for women after childbirth? So it, in this way, it will only look for videos in YouTube. It will just go for the viral ones and you can write, see them right here. You can use them. You can gain deeper understanding on people who are watching those as opposed to if you search this in chat GPT. Let's give that a try and see what it does. Pelvic floor exercises, thoracic rectal exercises. So, not really the same. And um, the importance here is that perplexity allows you to focus on a certain uh, area of knowledge. So, again, let's go back, ask the same question, and ask it to just focus on writing, or let's say just focus on academic. So instead of most likely, because that doesn't really make sense in academics, say most effective workout routines for women after childbirth. And then it would just focus on academic researches, nothing that like me as a person or you as a person have written on internet as opposed to uh, like what is actually out there. So for stuff that you want to uh, know about the facts the uh, stuff that are uh, out there that has been research on them, you can just focus on uh, academic researches as opposed to when you want to gain understanding about what do people think, what do people feel about. You can focus on YouTube or Reddit because it would be things that people like you and I have said online and it would just like do a deep dive in that. Or you can have uh, use just like all, and it focuses on all things, and you can get, just go through the uh, sources and check them out to see if they are working well. Uh, I'm just gonna take you through home and show you another cool feature that allows you to really, really benefit from um, perplexity.ai. Say that you have a client base, say 20 customers, 20 clients, and you're a business coach. I have prepared a document of 20 uh, complaints that people have uh, told me as someone who is a business coach, and I'm going to attach that file, chat GPT, to uh, perplexity.ai, excuse me, and it would just answer questions for me based on these. So um, just to uh, share with you guys what this document is. I'm going to stop sharing, show you the document. So this is the document. So right here, you see that it's just a simple document and uh, it's the name of the person, uh, what they do and what is their struggle. I want to learn uh, about the common trends, common uh, traits between these people because I want to create a product or a course that helps them all. So let's do that. I'm going to share my screen again take you, to take you guys to perplexity.ai. Here it is. So I have attached the document here and I am going to ask it, what are some common problems between these people. And voila, you can see a common uh, problem that all of these people have, and it would enable them to, it would enable you to build a product that focuses on market visibility, securing funding, managing finances, building a customer base, and navigating industry competition and balancing personal and uh, professional life. As opposed to then you just look at the file, you need to just like go through each of these 20 people, go through their struggles, 
and do that on your own for yourself. Or you need Chat GPT four, which is a paid membership, and right now there's a waiting list. But Perplexity.ai allows you to attach uh, three files per day, and it renews every day, so you can do this for free. You can ask more questions from it. Say, what would be a good course that these people are all interested in? So it's a course in entrepreneurship and a small business management. I'm just going to treat it like Chad GPT asked and ask, can you write the uh, overall topic and lessons for this course? It does it beautifully. So introduction to entrepreneurship, marketing strategy, financial management, customer acquisition, navigation, blah, blah, blah. You can use it. And it is based on the behavior, based on the answers that your customers have given you. You have just gathered them together and asked perplexity.ai to analyze it and give you something that is based on their answers. Let's go once more to the home screen and ask chat GPT what are the question we asked some complaints people uh, have when they uh, are trying to avoid working out or where basically they are not complaints they are uh, you know um, you know you just want to just avoid it. You just want to neglect it. But let's let's ask this on chat GPT. And I wanted to focus on Reddit because that's the blog type of thing that people just talk about their problems. So let's see what is the answer. Okay. Uh, finding it hard, boring, and a waste of energy. Experiencing physical discomfort and pain. Lacking enjoyment. So I can even ask, hey. Can you give that to me in a bullet point format? And you can see like they are coming from these subreddits. It's not hallucinating all of that. So you know that these answers are actual stuff that people have written. You can again go deeper and deeper and deeper. So say that you, your client are 20 year olds that uh, are overweight and you want to know uh, where you can actually reach these people online because you want to run ads and say where do 20 year old people people spend their time online I want to run an ad for losing weight. Let's take a look. So, uh, 16 to 24, they do gaming 92% on any device, 67% doing so online. So let's say, what are the names of the social media? What are the names? of the games and social media platforms. Interesting. So uh, trivia, charades, and place of animal thing when it comes to social media platforms, that is, this is what we want. They are active on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. So, we know that we should not run ads, say, on LinkedIn. We should not run ads, say, on Twitter, X now. And these are the platforms that we really need to focus on. So it really helps us to uh, narrow down on the behavior of our target market. We know them, and uh, we can know, know them actually way better using Perplexity AI. 
And by just focusing on what they say on Reddit or what kind of videos they're watching on YouTube, they can really focus on their behavior rather than just speculating that using chat GPT. And um, um, just like let's, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna show you just a couple of other stuff here and there. So uh, you get to attach three files per day in the free version. You can focus on different stuff. So you can say, hey, I want to write an article. I want to just focus on factual stuff. If probably if you're doing market research, you want to just stick to the academic resources. But if you're doing anything like behavior analysis, anything about, hey, what do these group of people do? What do these group of people have in common? You may want to go for Reddit or even all. So let's just give this another try and ask what are some popular uh, TV series for young people in, uh, let's say, um, again, Southern California, based on Reddit, because they have typed it up. And here we have it, The Shield, The Kaminsky Method, Californication, and Courage Chinatown. And just for comparison, if you want to do this uh, behavior analysis on chat GPT itself, you can just like do it here, ask this prompt chat GPT, and let's see what it answers. Definitely different. It goes based on what it guesses up to January 2022. And uh, it's based on the information that is available to it and the popularity of these TV series. Whereas the stuff that you get from perplexity.ai, if you focus on Reddit, it's based on stuff that are happening right now and people have written those out. So there you have it. This is how you can use AI to do a quick analysis on your target market, do a quick, uh, basically, um, understanding of what is happening in the minds of your target audience. So it was great. See you in the next one. Bye now.